You guys know what? Trading back for Amari Cooper will not be a bad thing. Let me repeat, trading back for Amari Cooper will not be a bad thing. Now, Amari Cooper, according to reports, didn't show up to mandatory camp for the Cleveland Browns. Amari Cooper been cited in Dallas multiple multiple times, and he's still in good relations with some of the players here in Dallas. If the Cowboys really want to make that push and that move, I would put my name in the hat for Amari Cooper to be back here in Dallas. You will have C.D. Lamb. You will have Brandon Cooks and Amari Cooper. You can still utilize the usage of Jalen Tobert if he can fight for that spot. Jalen Brooks, Ryan, Flanoy, all of those boys, they can still fight for a spot on his team, but they can be ancillary pieces, whereas they can be your fourth or fifth wide receiver. You still can use Cavante Turpin. You still can use all of those other weapons, but you will have Amari Cooper in the mix, which will be a real good thing, ladies and gentlemen. I I can tell you guys right now, if the Cowboys really do something like that, that would it would be crazy. What would you give up for Amari Cooper? Maybe a fifth round draft pick. <laughs> Maybe you would give up a sixth round draft pick. But it would be better to have him on this team. Now, granted, there are other teams with a lot of money. 49ers got a lot of money. I mean, the Eagles still got a lot of money when you look at it. Uh, there are teams that still like the Washington team, the team that offered him a contract on the front end, and he decided to decline it. They got a lot of money. So, And the Patriots got, oh, my goodness, they got unbelievable amounts of money over there. So Detroit got a lot of money. A lot of teams got a lot of money for Amari Cooper. And he's on his final year of his contract. So if you're thinking about adding to your team, and helping out your team and finishing the job. He absolutely liked Dak Prescott. I'm talking about Amari Cooper. And even if we can just get Amari Cooper to play the home games, because a, a lot of you guys say, well, Amari Cooper only play good at home. Well, we lost that last playoff game. It was at the crib. Well, let's bring Amari Cooper in for a cup of coffee and get things going from there. I, I would love to see once again, Amari Cooper being in this particular mix. I think that it's a situation whereas it's a no-brainer for one. And for two, it's going to help out this team tremendously. We may say that we're okay with wide receiver, but we still have our reservations. And of course, the main thing is to get C.D. Lamb paid. You pretty much can bring in Amari Cooper and that can help out some other things down the line. You still have enough money. Believe it or not, we have $12 million. When you sign and extend, it also helps you out with more and more money because you can front load some of that money. You can prorate it and spread it out. That's why even the 49ers, they extended and signed more contract years on CMC contract. Now, granted, of course, you're kicking the can down the road, but you still have more usable funds that you can push down the line. That's how this salary cap thing works. It only works when you sign and move the money around. But when you hold on to it, it goes all the way back to that, uh, that analogy I made a couple of weeks ago with the talents, the parables with the talents, right? You taking your talent and you digging it and you put it in the hole and say, I'm going to wait till next year. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You got to flex your money. You got to spread it out. You got to sign your players early, juxtaposed to signing them too late. And you got to see what you can get when you will and deal. Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below as I'm sitting in my, in my thinking man's chair over here. I just had to talk about this one. Cowboy Nation. DC for life, not for short. Let's get it. Peace. I'm out.